forgotten what they look like. I know, at last, Rita. Yeah, it's been really cloudy, hasn't it? For many of us, sunshine's been in short supply. And in fact, during the month of January so far, some parts of the UK have had much less sunshine than we'd really expect for this time of year. But for other areas, we have had quite a bit of blue sky, particularly across parts of eastern England. And certainly a little bit more of that blue sky out there today, especially towards the east. In fact, this is the picture in Norfolk, taken by one of our weather watchers a little bit earlier on. So glorious blue skies. It's not quite so clear and sunny for all of us. We have got a little bit more cloud across southern parts of England, particularly down towards the Channel Islands as well. But in general today, across much of England and Wales, we are seeing those brighter skies developing. So a little bit of sunshine around and also milder for England and Wales than it has been recently. Now for the rest of today across Scotland and for Northern Ireland, things are going to be changing because we've got wind and rain approaching. Now they're all courtesy of a weather front. You can see it here, which is piling its way in from the northwest and quite a lot of isobars are quite windy conditions here too. Further south though, high pressure still very much dominating the weather. So really for the rest of this afternoon across England and Wales, we've got some sunshine breaking through. Not wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, still some cloud drifting around, particularly down towards the Channel Islands. Further north, we've got that rain moving in and the wind strengthening too. Up to about 50 miles per hour, those gusts across northern Scotland this afternoon. They'll be even stronger than that, in fact, overnight. Now, temperature's still reasonably mild for this stage in January, somewhere between about 8 to 11 degrees for most of us. And then moving through this evening then, that rain clears slowly out of Scotland and Northern Ireland and overnight it'll arrive across parts of England and Wales. But gales are even severe gales developing, particularly for the likes of Orkney and North Highland as well. So it could be quite disruptive winds there in the north of Scotland. Most of us frost free tonight, just either side of that weather front, we could see those temperatures down to around about two or three degrees. So to start off your day on Thursday, we've got this cold front draped across central and southern parts of England into Wales as well. Behind that, we're going to see a northwesterly breeze developing. So still quite cloudy first thing tomorrow for southern England, south Wales too, with the odd spot of light rain on that weather front. That clears gradually towards the south and then we're all in these clearer skies tomorrow. So more in the way of sunshine around just a few showers working in on that northwesterly breeze to northern Scotland for instance. 7 to perhaps 13 degrees for most of us. A little bit colder though up towards the northern isles with that northerly airflow. Moving on into Friday now and high pressure still not far away sitting towards the south there. We have got a weather front just trying to push in from the northwest so that will bring some rain initially to northwest Scotland and just starting to slip its way a little bit further south. But across much of England and Wales Friday is going to be another dry day. Some sunny spells around as well. Quite breezy and those temperatures between about 8 to 11 degrees on Friday. And then what about the weekend? Well, it looks like we'll keep that high pressure towards the south, but there's a weather front working in again from the northwest. So quite windy for many of us, but mild on Saturday. Sunday looking a little bit cooler and some rain for the weekend, particularly across the northwest of the UK. Rita.